Hello once again audience and welcome back to Dominations with Christopher. I wanted to go over with you how to do a speed drop uh, as well to let you all know that this may or may not work with all devices. With the device I'm showing this off of, which is a Samsung, Samsung S6, a phone, uh, the speed drop functionality does not work as you'll plainly see when I try it with my secondary classical account. Um, you can see I've got 65 troop spaces here. Uh, so the concept being that once that first troop has been dropped, and you can see I've got the touch input actually showing here. So once the first troop has actually been dropped, you do not remove your finger from the screen. What you do is you actually select the various troops from the bottom, as you can see where I'm touching there. Uh, and leave your finger on the screen and you can move it around if necessary in order to actually change where the troops are being dropped but that is how you speed drop obviously with various other devices now I do have a case on this thing so here's what we're gonna try I'm actually gonna take it out of the case and we're gonna try it I have tried it in the past with the case on mind you so let's see if that actually affects it I'm not going to do a real battle um, because I have modified my group configuration. And you can see there, it's a little S6. Nice little white S6, and it's tiny. But I do keep it in a case because, well, we've got kids, two year olds. So I've gone with a modified army uh, in order to actually show that this works versus doesn't work. So I've got two fusiliers, 51 longbowmen, one. I don't even know what that is. Uh, cataphract and two cavalry riders, cavalry raiders. So we're going to go into the single player just because that's an excellent place for you to practice uh, your speed drops in order to get your troops down immediately. So this is without the case on a Galaxy S6, and we're going to try it. So I'm going to pick a drop point. Well, outside of the range here. I'm going to start with my one cataphract, and then we're going to flip over and try and get all my archers down as soon as possible. Let's try it using the three finger method first. Uh, so we'll go with. And you can see that it's not actually functioning correctly. So that's without taking my finger off of there. So it won't actually, oh, so it is just very, very difficult to get that timing right off, off of a phone. And as you can see, I have flipped over to a different troop unit and it is not functioning correctly. So we'll try it again using the other method after this one. But that is the concept behind a two finger drop. You get the initial two down and hold it, and then go ahead and cycle through what troops you actually want to deploy using that mechanism. Um, hurry up, you guys. Let's see. I don't think I'm actually going to get anything from this. I just want my troops back. All right. I did lose one. Sad me. So the two finger drop does actually work if all you're intending on doing is dropping one set of units. Retrain those for the whole three that it's going to cost me. And. Oh, no. We want to go into the single player. Let's try it on this one here. Now I'm going to try it with a one finger drop. That's to mean that I'm going to drop the one cataphract that I do have and follow it up with nothing but my archers or my longbowmen. So again, drop that first troop. And maybe if I zoom in, it'll work a little bit better. Let's try that.
And see, I flipped over very quickly there, and that two-finger deployment method seems to have worked. There. And then, of course, you've got it. Once those are all down, you're going to want to use your rally point in order to get all your troops here. Obviously, the point being you want to get that quick victory. And we'll do it one more time after this, just so that you guys have a very clear example as to how that worked with the two-finger drop. That's what I'm going to call it. The two-finger versus a three-finger drop. Obviously, on a tablet, it's much easier to get that to work. Um, I think a case, although a case is very important, mine is going back on after I, I finish doing this, is very um, might inhibit the actual ability to do that. And we've got our troops back. Lost a couple. We'll go retrain those so we can do this one more time. All right, so let's go back into battle. Let's try it on this one. Although it says conquered, we don't really care. The idea being that we want to practice getting our speed drop using this phone or this device. So again, zoom right in. Uh, let's see. And you can, you can very clearly see in the video here that I am actually Touching the screen, it just doesn't want to go down. That is not an invalid troop location. So again, I flip over while I hold my finger on there, and you can move it around, and it should continue to work. But there again, you see, and this device is actually notorious for not having proper screen input. I'm going to wait till that one little archer tower is down. I'm going to pick my rally point to be right there. Leave that one silly little archer hanging out. You get that wall. You get that wall, Charlie. So there you have it. Uh, again, that's with the Samsung Galaxy S6, which is notorious for touch input problems. Um, I'm hoping a little bit later on I'll be able to get the tablet off of Marla and we can show you the three drop mechanism with which works very well. The tablet that we are running with is a Galaxy S6 or a Galaxy Galaxy Tab S2. Right now? Right now. Right now. All right. So just hang on here 2 seconds. Well, Turn this off, and let's go ahead and actually I've got to change the scene so that we get the right input me mechanism, but give it two seconds. So this is going to be a two-part. This is part one of two, and again, this is a two-finger drop mechanism or method, and be sure to check down below or wherever it is for part two where we go over a three-finger drop mechanism off of the tablet. Don't forget to like and subscribe down below as well. Do six on the ice and have a good time.